Hey guys, the time has come. I've got a solo, a Star Wars story, non-spoiler review for you right now. I'm sure you know the basics, but just in case, the movie focuses on a young Han Solo before the events of Star Wars A New Hope, when he must team up with young Lando Calrissian and some new characters in order to pull off a dangerous heist for the criminal underworld. So now let's get into it. And what I'm going to do with this review is actually use my premiere tweet as a guideline because I did touch on a lot of the points that I was hoping to make in a full review. And now I'm just excited to finally have the opportunity to elaborate. So here it is is there's some fun to be had with Solo, a Star Wars story. Aaron Reich was solid and really enjoyed Glover and Waller Bridge as L3, but not convinced we needed a young Han Solo movie, was really hoping for higher stakes, more energy, and depth. So since tweeting my reaction the night of the premiere, I've seen the word expectations thrown around a pretty good deal. So before I jump into solo specifics, just my quick take on having expectations going into a movie. I think it's human. If you like a brand, you're aware of a production's journey from script to screen, maybe you're just a really big fan of a certain actor or a director. It all shapes your personal experience with a movie, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Everyone has a unique point of view. That's why reviews are personal and they're more art than fact. But the one thing I do take seriously when going into any new movie is staying open-minded no matter what. So my reaction to Solo has absolutely nothing to do with me thinking, I wanted them to do this with the character, but they did that, so I don't like it. And that's also where the idea of needing a movie comes in. Do we need any movie? No, of course. Just like, I don't really need a new shirt or a steak dinner. What I mean by not needing a Han Solo movie is I don't think what happens in this movie adds to the character enough. I'm not gonna rewatch A New Hope, let's say, and feel compelled to connect the dots back to what Solo went through in his younger years based on what I got from this specific story. This didn't add another layer to Han. Rather, it just reaffirmed qualities that I already knew he had. But I will say that I thought Alden Ehrenreich was great in the role, and I certainly can't think of anyone else who could have done a better job. His performance was reminiscent of Harrison Ford's, but never to the point of feeling like an imitation. And I think the same goes for Donald Glover as Lando, too. As for the franchise newcomers here, Woody Harrelson and Amelia Clark. They were solid. I just can't say that Beckett or Kira really made that strong of an impression on me. I do think Phoebe Waller-Bridge's L3 did, though. She's a droid with a strong personality who will not stand for the mistreatment of other droids, and she might say that aloud one too many times, but I thought it brought a really fun, unique quality to the character and just so much energy to the film overall. Moving on to the tail end of my tweet now, and another element that I did get a lot of questions about, wanting higher stakes. I have frequently been asked, how can you expect high stakes in a movie when you know who's in the other movies that come after it? You know what I say to that? Stakes do not have to be tied to potential character deaths. Any movie can and should have stakes. So just to throw out some random examples, Bridesmaid, a comedy, has stakes because you care about the friendship between Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph's characters. Inside Out has stakes because you're invested in Riley's happiness. Even The Post felt like it had urgency and stakes, even though I knew how that story was going to end. So the point is, as it pertains to Solo, my complaint is that I wasn't emotionally invested in the character's remission enough to feel much suspense. I was having fun at times, though. Simply put, I like being in a galaxy far, far away, and in the case of this movie, I did enjoy the sensation that I was on a bit of a ride there. The large majority of the action is shot well, and for the most part, the score does enhance those set pieces, although I will say there's a theme for Enfys Nest that wasn't really working for me at all. The humor, though, is very well integrated in this movie. The relationships between Han, Lando, and Chewie especially kind of call for that. And speaking of Chewie, there's a character that I think gets a big boost from the events of this movie. I liked Chewie before, but in his case, seeing the start of his relationship with Han and seeing certain choices he makes in this movie makes me respect him as a warrior and a friend more so than I ever did before. And I already respected that character quite a bit. 
Now, of course, I'm not getting into any spoilers here, but I do have to mention that there are certain things that happen in the third act that cause the plot to kind of trip over itself and also cause me to lose sight of the message of the movie. And I'm not saying that because every movie needs some sort of life-changing message at the end of it, but I'm more specifically talking about certain clear ideas that mean something to Han after the events of this adventure that he could take with him. So again, there is fun to be had with Solo but I can't ignore my disappointment here. It is a bold move to make a movie about such an iconic character without the original actor that made him so special to begin with, and I did feel that here. Ron Howard and the rest of the team did an admirable job pulling all of this together, but for me, it's only getting two and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. I enjoyed it just enough, but for a character I've loved so much almost my entire life, I really did want the movie to resonate more. So there you guys have it. It is my review of Solo, a Star Wars story. Now I leave it to you. When you see the movie, be sure to hit that comment section below. Share some thoughts right there. As always, like and share this video. Thank you for giving it a watch, and I will see you soon with more movie reviews.